Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer writing in. This is Daniel writing in, uh, looking to know what lenses to get for his D3400. He says, hi Matt, uh, I'm looking to build a lens kit for Nikon. I currently have a D3400 and will probably upgrade to a 7000 series or possibly full frame, 610 or 750. I only have the kit lens at the moment. This is what I'm thinking. Nikon 50mm f1.8G for low light indoor portraits. Sigma 24-105. F4 DG OSHM, general purpose travel F4 should be fast enough. Tamron 70 to 300 F4 56 DIVC USD, general purpose telephoto outside in good light F5 6 should be okay. Nikon 200 to 500 F5 6 E wildlife air shows, not sure if uh, 5 6 will be fast enough. Sigma 105 2.8 EX DG OSHM macro for occasional macro work. I'm also considering the Nikon 35mm F18 G DX. Sigma 17-50, F28, and Nikon 300mm F4D. Any opinions or suggestions would be appreciated. Cheers, Daniel. Thanks for your question, Daniel. A lot of lenses here, some really good ones. Um, and some interesting thoughts, because a lot of these will only be, and, and I'm sure you've thought of that, but I mean, if you go to a 7000 series, those last ones you mentioned would be a great option. Um, but if you go with the full frame, then some of these you won't be able to use because they're DX lenses, they're crop sensor lenses built for like the DX bodies like the 7000 series or your D3400. Um, the 50 F18G for low light indoor portraits, love it, love it, love it on the on the crop DX series, the 7000 series on your D3400, no problems. If you're going to go with the 610 or the 750, I wouldn't get that, I would get an 85 F18G. And the reason is, is that the 50 on the crop sensor, it gives you an equivalent field of view of a 75, very close to an 85, which is a very nice favored portrait lens, focal length for years for most shooters. So I will, if, if you're going to go full frame, I will go with the 85 F18G. If you're going to stay DX 7000 series, um, then yeah, the 50 is fine. Sigma 24 to 105 F4 DG OS HSM. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Um, not for DX though. If you're going to go DX, then I would get an 18 to 140 or something. Uh, but if you're, if you're going the 610 or the 750, certainly it's okay. But, here's my caveat, there's nothing wrong with that lens. I just prefer the Nikon 24-120 F4 VR. It's a darling. I just, I love that lens. One of my favorite lenses in the Nikon catalog. F4 is fast enough. It's a great lens. Just really like it. Good performer. Gives you a great range. It's lighter because it is F4 and not an F2.8, and it gives you that extra extra reach. Uh, so that's what I would go with in that situation. Tamron 70-300. to 300. I wouldn't probably... Go with that over the Nikon. I would go with the Nikon 7300 VR, the uh, the FX version, because you can use it on both DX and FX. And I just, I've owned a couple of them. And I really like it. Tamron's probably okay. Just my preference is the Nikon in that situation as well. The Nikon 200 to 500 f 56 e Wildlife Air Shows. Uh, yeah, I love this lens. You can look back in the videos. I've reviewed it, shot it at the zoo, got a lot of wildlife shots there. It's great. You can't get much better value than this lens. Really, really like it. F5.6 is fast enough in almost all situations. If you're outdoors shooting wildlife and air shows, odds are it's not going to be at night or in dim lighting. Um, so it's, I never ran into a problem with that is what I can tell you. Um, so unless you're doing a lot of low light work, then maybe it would be a problem. But normally just outside in regular daylight, you got plenty of light. Not an issue for me. Sigma 105 F2.8. Uh, macro again decent lens again i would go with the nikon i just i've owned the nikon i've owned a few copies of it i have an older nikon manual focus right now at 105 and i really like it i just i would my preference is the nikon in those situations the sigmas are fine i'm not saying they're bad i just my my personal preference is the nikon versions of those so and then again you're considering the nikon 35 f18g the sigma 17 to 50 f28 and the nikon 300 f40 all great um the two, the first two, though, are obviously DX lenses, and that would only be if you're going with the 7000 series body. Let's throw that back to our viewers. Uh, let's help out Daniel. What's your opinion? What would you get? What would you do and why? Um, do you Are you in line with my thinking on these lenses and what, why or why not I would get them? Um, is there a, would you do something else? Would you do a different lens entirely or a different set of lenses? Let us know in the comments below. It's always great to hear your feedback and it's really helpful to our viewers when they write in with a question to help them sort out in their head and hear other differing opinions that may make them think of things they hadn't thought of. Thanks for your question, Daniel. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.